Hey, it's Lorraine with Elite Professional Dog Training. And uh, today, um, I'm just here gonna do a little bit of uh, competition obedience. This is my buddy Duke. Um, you've seen him in different photos, and you know he's gonna be my uh, my competition dog. He's a he's a really good dog. Um, I've had him had him for about six months now. When I saw the picture like this, his focus. I said, he's gonna be my dog. So. We'll do a quick little demonstration on what I do just to kind of get him. I want him to be an all-around dog. That's it. I want him to be an all-around good dog, so um, I can take him in a dock dive in. If I want to do shits in, I can do shits in, PSA. If I want to do uh, some scent work. His, his parents are, they came from, uh, they're both search and rescue dogs, so I know he has a nose on him. So I'd like to teach him to um, sniff out bed bugs or even um, money, you know, make a little cash on the side. So, but yeah, he's my buddy. And um, just a few things that I've been working with him. Middle. Yeah. It's really one of the things that I really like is, uh, what I really admire with those guys that are uh, the tactical guys that would make the dogs run in the middle. Walk. And they can walk backwards. And they can bring the dog out to the side, back into the foose position. Really fascinated me. I figured now that I have this dog, <laughs> now it's my turn. All right. So, I try not to use the uh, what I'm using now. He has he has great drive. He has both f food and and uh, ball drive. When I want to calm him down a little bit, I use the food drive. But when I want to build up, I use the ball, which he knocked out of my hand. It's okay. We'll just use <laughs> we'll just use food, Dad. <laughs> Come on. Let's. There we go, relax. So a few things that I like to work on with him. So part of the um, part of the routines that we're gonna that I want to practice with him is basically like a bark and hole. It's gonna get him ready for uh, shitsin. So the way I do it myself is I want to get him to face me. Come on, face me, face me. There you go, there you go. Oh, look at me. He gets a reward. All I'm gonna do is teaching them how to bark in front of me. So basically what happens is they'll send the dog off into a blind and then you'll go in front of the decoy and start barking. And he's there to bark for however long the judge wants him to. And then once he's done, um, I'll call him off. Come here. I'll call him off and then I'll move to the next scenario. Now all I'm gonna do now is do a little bit of uh, obedience with him. He has crazy, crazy ball drive. So. If I want to, if I want to make him more excited, I'll bring out the ball. If I want to calm him down but still have the same focus, I'll use a treat or food. So, some of the cool things that I wanted to practice with him, of course, the 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 thing about Shitsu is like it has the most flashy obedience, right? So, some of the things that we'll practice. Back up. Back up. Puss. Puss. Yes, good boy. Yes. Yes. Sit. It's a little sloppy sit. Sit. There we go. Anytime he does what I need him to, sit. all the way. I'll give him a reward. Come here. Right now what I'm doing is reward-based training. Ah, son of a gun. Okay, give it a walk, give it a walk. Ah. Reward-based training because you get the best out of the dog. Try not to be over militant or, or, or too hard on him because I don't want to break down his drive. He'll be able to do this. Middle. Come on. There we go. Walk with me. Yes. And that bond. Is phenomenal. <laughs> it's the coolest thing. Get a Nerf ball, Nerf gun, and just. <laughs> Here! Chits! <clears throat> my partner in crime. So he's also gonna be my son's partner in crime, too. 
when he gets older. So, but I love this dog. Sit. There we go. That's Duke. Lead professor of dog training. What good are your dog? You. When your dogs come to you. Come here. 